guys and welcome back to my channel so my wedding is tomorrow and i'm making myself a wedding cake i love berries so i decided i'm going to make myself a wedding cake so do not be surprised yeah i'm not filling this cake with actual cake it's going to be made of dummies so i bought these dummies and some berries from the store and then i made some buttercream if you want my buttercream recipe just search in my you know i don't know it's on this channel somewhere just search on my channel and you'll find it okay so i bought this um dummies on amazon for about five dollars and so what i'm doing is i'm wrapping it the reason why i'm wrapping it is because it helps it stick together aside that it also protects the dummy so that you can use it next time or you can you know use it for something else once you're done with the wedding and stuff okay so i'm going to be serving sheet cake at my wedding and the cake this particular cake is just for display it's not an actual cake of course it's a dummy you can see so what you want to do if you're going to do this this is going to cost you less than fifty dollars and what you want to do first of all is to wrap the dummies in cling film and it will help it stick together you can see what i'm saying in a second wrap every part of it in cling film and then put it on your cake board stick it on with buttercream and it will stick and then you're going to be sticking on the subsequent dummies on top and it won't fall off it will stick absolutely without you know falling apart or moving around so that's what the link film does for you see what i'm saying yeah it's like magic <laughs> anyway so i bought this for about five dollars and then i also made some buttercream and i bought some berries so what we're going to be doing first of all is to cover this in buttercream and the easy the easiest way to do that would be to start from the bottom initially i wanted to start from the top but it was kind of difficult so if you're having a wedding or you you don't have a lot of money or you don't just like cakes some people have money they just don't like cakes and you want maybe the aesthetics cake gives you want to have a cake at your wedding you want people to see a cake on the table you want to have like a cake cutting event you can do this as well so you don't have a cake but you have a cake if that makes sense and you're not going to spend mo more than 50 dollars and it is very easy to make so the first thing i'm doing is covering the bottom the bottom most layer in buttercream so once we are done with that we're going to cover the next one and then the next one and then we are going to smooth in so if you're not a professional in baking or decorating cakes this is a very easy technique because this is going to be um um a textured um what's the word <laughs> a textured um rustic cake so it doesn't have to be smooth you don't have to make it smooth or anything so this is the perfect cake if you're not a professional or anything so all you have to do is just put the buttercream all around it as much as possible and then when we are done i'm going to show you how to texture it without doing too much so you're going to take a smooth now when you're done and try to smooth in as much as possible or you can as well use your spatula okay so now that we are done smoothing that we are done applying we are just going to smoothen you don't have to worry about smoothing it too much or doing anything too much basically you just want to make sure the cakes are straight and everything is smooth and since you're using a dummy cake it's a lot easier and if you're going to be using actual cake make sure when you stock your cake you put it in the fridge for at least overnight 12 hours before you try to decorate that way your cake is sturdy and it is you know it won't fall apart easily and you okay so the next thing i'm doing is i'm taking a spoon to texture yeah everybody has a spoon in their house so this will be really really easy just take a spoon and just press it on press and lift press and lift do that several times until you get to the top and it is even the parts where like it's kind of empty you didn't texture well take a smaller spoon and go over it again until everything is well textured from top to the bottom and on top of the cake as well this is a very easy technique that gives you this rustic looking polished cake even though you didn't spend so much time smoothing like you know professional cake decorators it's awesome anyway so this was my cake when i was done smoothing and now we're just covering the board the reason why i like to cover the board is it pulls the cake together a lot better and it helps it you know like it helps it come together it's not like you have a cake and then you have the board just looking bare or looking you know tacky like the silver board it's just annoying if you had a white board that's okay that's that can still fly but if you have one of these boards that's silver or gold just cover it in buttercream it doesn't have to be smooth but you know just have it covered 
anyway so we have the strawberries and we're going to use strawberries blueberries raspberries and strawberries blueberries raspberries and blackberries <laughs> i bought four different kind of berries to decorate this cake with and that's what we are going to do this is really easy this cake took me less than 30 minutes to make i'm telling you guys and my wedding is tomorrow can you imagine that i'm so excited <laughs> so um, if you notice, I'm starting with the strawberries first because they are the biggest part. So usually when you're decorating a cake, it's best you start with the biggest items first because that way you'll be able to make space for it. And then you can fit the smaller items around the big one. So we're starting with the strawberries first and we're going to distribute them evenly and then we're going to do the blackberries and then and so on and so forth. So we're just going to distribute as much as possible around at the base and then on the base of each tier until we get to the top so this is really easy and this is really like it's going to make your cake really pop okay so while i do that let me explain what i did with the um blueberries for you so i did this off camera i should have shown it but i wasn't really thinking while i was doing it anyways so i took the blueberries and then i cover i colored them in gold so you should buy edible gold dust and then just pour some powder into a cup and add your blueberries and then just shake it and then that way your blueberries are covered in gold that way we're going to add some blueberries to this like just bare and then we're also going to add some blueberries covered in gold so it's going to make our cake pop it's going to give you this illusion of you know just going to give you a little bit more brightness so if you see those tiny gold parts those are blueberries i colored in gold and they look really pretty okay so the next thing we are going to do aside from arranging everything all around is also put some on the top so it can look really well put together and then i took some gold and we're going to highlight some parts of the blackberries so everything can you know kind of pop and come together better okay so i'm just applying some gold on the blackberries so it can like not like painting it in particular you know just making it pop a little Okay now, so our cake is done and we're going to get outside to take a picture and it's so pretty. Anyways, if you watch this video to this point, tomorrow is not my wedding, yeah. I'm sorry. I used to be a cake decorator and I used to have cakes to decorate every day and I missed it. So I decided to buy some dummies and you know, just pretend it's my wedding cake and do whatever I wanted. <laughs> and today it's with berries and it looked so pretty. See how pretty this cake looked. It came out so perfect. I think I'm going to do more of this because I'm really enjoying it. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.